Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Scheib and this morning we're visiting with Laura Weddle. She's an extension specialist for farm stress and rural mental health. Good morning, Laura. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for being with us today. And Laura, today you are going to talk to us about mental health language and really the words we speak truly matter. Why, why is language so important when talking about mental health? Right, yes. So language is essential in shaping how we see the world, others, and even ourselves. You know, as humans, we choose the words that, um, that we use when we speak or write, and those words that we choose can influence others and how they believe as well. So it's important that language matters when talking about mental health, as some language actually reinforces stigma. And we want to make sure we don't use language that belittles or could prevent, prevent someone from getting the help that they really need. Using uh, person first and non-stigmatizing language, language can encourage people to seek the assistance. Laura, can you explain what that term means, person first? Yes. Um, so labels are hard. And honestly, that can be downright devastating at times. With person first language, we're not defining someone by their diagnosis. There is so much more to that person than the challenge that they may have. For example, um, you might hear someone say she is schizophrenic. Mm. That statement is defining her by her schizophrenia, by her diagnosis. Instead, we can reword that and use person first language. We can put her as the person and her identity first. So we should say something like, she is living with a diagnosis of schizophrenia. This statement includes schizophrenia as a part of her life and it doesn't define who she is. Um, person first language can be used in a, a lot of different ways. And if we start changing the way we talk and think about the language that we use, we can use it in, in different areas of life. Um, some other examples can include, um, we've heard that phrase, he's an addict. Um, actually, you know, that's, that's defining. Um, so we don't want to define him um, by his substance misuse, um, but we want to say something like he has a substance use disorder. Um, you might hear someone say she's autistic or he's autistic. Um, the proper way to say that using person first language would be she has autism or he has a diagnosis of autism. It's all about dignity. What are some examples of appropriate language regarding mental health? So choosing our words, it, it's important. Um, I know I hear that phrase, oh, that's crazy, um, all the time. I know we've all probably used that phrase at some point. Um, we should shift our language to something a little less stigmatizing, like that's wild or that's interesting. Other words that are worth finding a substitution for include the words psycho, nuts, mental, loony, wacko, insane. Uh, let's try to find uh, better words, more appropriate language, um, so we're not using stigmatizing language. Um, it's important also to know we should reframe how we talk about suicide. Uh, the term committed suicide has been kind of a standard phrase in our society when we speak about suicide. And actually that word committed has extremely negative connotations to it, like committed a crime or committed a sin and reframing and saying something like they died by suicide. Um, that phrase, they died by suicide takes that negative stigma out of that phrase. And while it may seem like a small move, removing stigma from language can allow more people to open up, um, communicate about these important topics and to seek help. Laura, thank you so much for such great information. You all do such wonderful work um, with farm stress and mental health. Uh, if anyone wants more information, where can they get that? They can reach out to their local extension agent at their extension office for lots of resources. All right, Laura, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for joining us today on the Farm and Home 